Welcome back to the channel. It has been many months since the last video. And uh, I just kind of wanted to do a quick update because uh, we moved, we were in a different state altogether. Went from uh, Arizona to Alabama, uh, job related stuff. And I uh, haven't had time to really do much besides uh, get going in this new uh, stage of life. But that being said, uh, there's a Jeep jam coming up in uh, a couple months in Panama City, Florida. And so we're gonna be taking uh, the wife's JL down there and we have some upgrades that we're gonna be doing. And the first on this list for a couple of upgrades, especially going down to the sand, having some dogs with us, stuff like that, is we are going to go from this carpet, which is hard to see, but carpet all the way around to armor light. So I'm not gonna bore you with the install. GoArmorLight.com has an amazing install that they show. It's plenty of light, all that stuff. That's a struggle doing stuff interior in these Jeeps if you're not outside with them is seeing what's going on. So I'm not gonna bother with that, but uh, stand by and I will show you uh, at least what I think of uh, the after result of putting this in. So I've got one for the JL and for the Gladiator, uh, but I'll, I'm just gonna show you the, the JL stuff and uh, we'll go from there. So see you on the uh, end of the install. I've got the inside of the Gladiator uh, completely stripped out as far as front seats. And then I do have a passenger side uh, uh, dual air compressor uh, that's pulled out. To take your seats out, it's really easy. It's four male, um, star bits i want to say they are 14 the number 14 or 13 one of the two uh and and that'll take out your bolts and your seats um and then you have two retention clips on this wiring harness and this main uh plug with a sensor plug and um, you just pull out the red clips. The sensor one's really easy on both of mine. This bigger plug was really hard to pull apart. Uh, I thought it might have been gonna break it, um, but you pull down on the red and then press in the middle. Um, and for whatever reason with mine, it was just not wanting to come apart. And it's super hard to press on the middle. Maybe it's just me, um, but it, it was it was a challenge for that. You take this harness off, you're able to get your whole seat out. And after doing the Wrangler JL, I thought um, that wasn't too bad, but the seats do get in the way quite a bit. Um, so I decided to just take my, my my seats out and it was so much easier just taking the seat out of the way. Um, so I did want to bring this up because the Gladiator, the Wrangler uh, video on um, the Armor Light website is actually decent. But on the Gladiator, I didn't even see where they tell you where to put the grommets on these on these on these uh, mats so the back one doesn't have a grommet at all there's a hole that looks like a grommet hole but that's for mounting your uh your jack and then for the the back trim back here uh, i just found that it was easier just to lift just just pull up on it and then put the paneling underneath obviously you pull out all your side um trim like i did on the other side over there on both sides uh and I, i'm starting to put it together on this side but what I found was that they don't provide you uh, these these grommets that, well, one, I was missing a couple and both my kits, which is kind of disappointing. But two, they don't provide you these elevated grommets. Now, they say that you can't take these things apart, uh, but that's that's not true. There's an elevated grommet here. There's a regular grommet here you have a, a grommet under here a normal grommet under this one and it's your pat it's on your passenger um mat the back mat again doesn't have any so when you go to install this install your passenger put the grommets in right put the passenger on then the back and then fold up the the driver side and then put the driver side in because uh, the driver side doesn't have any rear grommets either um but that's kind of the best way that i found to do it uh, let me jump over to the driver side driver side elevated grommet here's another elevated grommet but i had mine in and it just it just didn't want to sit there and and go in far enough so i just took it out all together um it's the best that i found regular grommet no grommet in the back and then what i would say is 
put in your drain plugs so that it's lined up for you before you reinstall your stuff and then put your side paneling together put your chairs back in reconnect your um your harnesses and then you're good to go all right guys about a day and a half to do both the uh, gladiator and the wrangler they were uh pretty easy it just it's just time and uh, labor intensive i think for one person but it wasn't hard at all uh the big thing is just lining up the mats uh i found it much easier to have the seats removed than doing it with the seats in i did it both ways uh the instructions on uh armorlight.com are missing some things i think for the gladiator uh but let's jump in and show you has a pretty nice mat and you can still use the under cargo it doesn't get in the way you just have to push it down uh, but we have the the wheel house trim um, on both sides and it, it's pretty easy to install um, there's a mat that goes underneath the seat and then um, for these you just really have to loosen up the side panels uh, overall pretty nice here's the inside of the gladiator in the back i actually really like this whole thing because it makes it, it actually blends in really well with the cargo basket and or cargo box whatever you want to call it uh, i mean it looks like the same uh pattern which is really nice uh blends in really well almost like jeep should have used these instead of the bullshit carpet that they used uh, and then i've got the um under seat compressor now this is the kraken one um and or the kraken mounting plate and their whole system uh, for some reason at least on my gladiator some wiring harnesses want to hit the seat so i'm gonna have to do some modification on that uh, to get it to not stop the seat from going back which is kind of a pain in the butt there's this this wiring harness uh right here that sits in front of the front of the arb air compressor and with this plate that um, the Kraken system uses and the flooring, it's a little too high. So that clearance isn't quite there. So I got to figure out how to kind of lift the seat some, I think, because that's the only option that I have. But just a heads up on that. If you get these this flooring and you have this under seat mount, you might run into that same problem. All right. Well, that's it. Um, just wanted to show you the review. Um, some things that I ran into on the install. Uh, hopefully it helps you if you decide to do it you can see those things coming instead of uh, kind of like a little bit of a blind side on things there's a little bit of frustration there with the the, the floor mat grommets uh, being different than the ones that they provide and then also them not providing enough and then as well as uh, the dual air compressor underneath the passenger seat uh, was a kind of a problem so other than that thanks for watching uh, let me know if you have any questions and i'll see you again